Prime Minister of Niger said Nebori and Benin had violated trade agreements between the two nations and Niger's Chinese partner by blocking crude shipments from Benin. Benin last week barred exports of the fuel from its port after junta leader Niger refused to open its land border for goods coming in from the south. So at the end of the day, both the leader in Benin and the junta leader in Niger, they have to sit on a round table. Yes, because what the Benin people are asking for is only normal. There's a saying in African tradition or in African proverb that when one hand washes the other, the other will do the same. You cannot expect Bennett to allow you to be using their border to do business while you refuse to reciprocate at the end, while you refuse to meet them in the middle. So it's only normal that the two leaders keep their egos aside, sit on a round table, negotiate on opening their borders to each other. Yes, because in as much as this border row is ongoing, it's their citizens that will suffer it because the politicians or the leaders of every country have a way of getting the things that them themselves or the ruling class requires. They should do well to meet each other in the middle so business can flow as usual, so that they can help each other's economy to grow, so that they can help each other's country citizens to be able to do their normal business so that things can work out for the both Niger and Benin, so that their both citizens can assess each other's border freely, travel freely, do business freely, grow their businesses, grow their country's economies. Yes, they just need to send delegates to each other, sit on a round table and reach an agreement. Yes, this is the last thing these two countries need now. After the borders have been closed for seven months, we know what each citizens of this country suffers for the seven months that these borders were closed. Yes. So now that these bans have been lifted, these two countries should do well in terms of opening their borders and meeting each other in the middle. They cannot keep prolonging this matter because the more they keep prolonging it, the more they are killing businesses, the more their people are starving, the more the cost of living in these two countries will be higher. Yes, for the sake of the people, for the sake of their country, and for the sake of Africa, let these two countries do the right thing.